What's up, Thomas from Flint here. Just wanted to make a quick video uh, riding up towards downtown Flint. I'm just gonna go this way and just see what we get. We are at Grand Travers and can't remember. Sun's going down, we're headed east. Flint River's right over there. I don't know if you can see that. There's our weather ball. Looks like it's blue right now. Purple. I'm not sure what that means. All right, let's see what we got. So this is heading up towards downtown. Here's the Flint River. I'm not sure if that is lit up at night with anything fancy. I don't think so. Okay. Well, I know this turns into yeah, Kersley Street because the barber shop's down here. I always park right by that building up there on the right. Get that lights are coming on. Sun's going down, so I figured it might make kind of a cool video. They're doing construction on the main road going through downtown, so I'm not sure where we'll be able to go. But let's go see. It's Thanksgiving, so I know that's one reason there's not a lot of people out. But Flint just ain't like other cities that are just super busy and congested. I don't know if it's from the population going down here. But you don't ever really get like too of an overcrowded feeling. We have like a road, like a business type road on the other side of town that's got all the big chain restaurants. And there's always a lot of uh, people over there and a lot of traffic. But as far as, you know, being like downtown, it's not like super crazy busy. Just, you know, like an average, I guess. I don't know. I know I've been to some other cities that just felt just like it was just too much. Flint don't really have a lot of big, like, skyscrapers and stuff. Here's the barber shop. There's a cool little alleyway, but here's the barber shop. So this is the main street. Let's see. I'm not in the turn lane, but I can still go left. As long as no one's coming. Oh, now I'm jumping the walk away. Whoops. All right, okay, it's closed that way. So yeah, we're gonna go left. But it's only about four more blocks that way and then you're pretty much out of it. And then it's like four blocks this way. So it's not like a super long stretch and you're just like in and out. It's probably one of the taller buildings right there. And then right here, but that's pretty much it. U of M Flint's right here. <clears throat> this is our brick road from back in the day. This guy's doing some kind of weird U turn. Sometimes they got a little outdoor ice skating rink right here. In the summertime, you see people skateboarding there and stuff. Got this weird like walkway next to the river down here. I'm walking down here sometimes. It's kind of chill. Just stay away from like weird people and you're good. Okay, this guy is trying to pick this person up, but maybe I don't know what's going on. I'm just gonna keep on trucking along. That's MLK that way, so you know that leads to a uh, bad part of town. Now I'm going north on uh, Saginaw Street. It does seem like that person in that white vehicle got out and started walking behind that building where that lady looked like a lady was walking. Could have been a man. So that seemed awfully suspicious, but in a big city, there's always something suspicious going down. It's just the nature of it, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so this area over here is kind of nice. 
this is the other side of the U of M Flint. And they kind of got like these big parking lots and big fields and just kind of a nice area. I go park down there sometimes by the post office and walk the dog. I think there's actually a video of that on there. They call this Fifth Avenue. I'm trying to remember what it turns into. Oh, Robert T. Longway. If you go east from here. There's our little rallies. Some people call it checkers. I mean, it's called checkers in other places here. It's rallies. So, you start headed north, and it don't take long before you get into, like, you're kind of, like, in a bad side of town. It's the weirdest thing that just built this fancy, like, apartments right here. It's kind of weird, right? And then there's, like, actually a fancy neighborhood right here. It's kind of weird, too. I did some drywall there one time, I think. But... That's where it stops being nice for sure. Get out of this bumpy lane. Uh, that's that nice neighborhood. It's kind of weird, right? Like a hood car wash over here. And like, this is where it all starts getting like really flint. Like they're old big houses, I guess. Like you can get houses in this neighborhood for cheap. Probably five, ten thousand dollars $10,000. And they just need a total gut and like everything redone in them but they're actually like big houses now the ones i'm seeing right here are two-story big like in my neighborhood it's all little one-story houses probably two and three bedrooms and these look like they're five bedrooms or six this place used to be open i feel like a little car shop okay we're getting towards what they call like north saginaw street and as you can see we're not like too far away from downtown this is that street that had the bricks on it uh, downtown. Now we're going north. I don't know, we might be uh, a couple miles so far. Like, I don't think I've ever went to this gas station right here. Just a little too sketchy for me. This store right here is pretty sketchy. Leeds Street in Saginaw. North Saginaw. Not a lot of people out today for sure. I feel like this building's been under construction for 10 years. This old plaza used to be open a long time ago. It's just all broken into, car wash all. I don't know if it'd be open actually. I think this muffler man up here still is open too. As you can see, like most of the old like buildings just, just sitting here kind of rotting away actually. That was pulling up, this house looks should be more fun. I'm just joking if you live there, I don't know. We are at Stewart. Still on uh, Saginaw Street, North Saginaw. Big mural here, that's kind of cool. I don't know if you guys can see that.
We are at Pearson Road. Then once you get past Pearson Road, there really ain't much as far as like businesses or anything. Everything just seems run down, closed down, shut down. This Vibes bar right here, I've seen that popping at night. Be out driving around board, checking the city out at night. Just kind of see these little nightclubs. Looks like you pretty much have to know some, know a lot of people that go there to even go there. It's not you would just pop up at. For sure. It's not really a lot of like nightclubs, I wouldn't say in Flint. There's like uh, a couple bars people go to and three or four strip clubs are still open. But with everything that happened the past few years, I know the one shut down for sure that was pretty good. I guess the other ones stayed open, but anyways. All right. We are still on uh, Saginaw Street, headed north. If we kept going this way, we would drive like right out of Flint, basically. This is still kind of considered a bad neighborhood. I'm not sure if you guys can tell or not. But like, what if we went down one of these streets, probably look kind of sketchy. Okay, we are at, uh, let's see, Carpenter Road. I'm gonna go west. Cut us over to MLK and head back south towards home. See what we come up with. Yeah, you'll still see houses over here boarded up. And some look a little run down and some people are just kicking it. All right, this light up here is gonna be MLK. We're gonna go left. Let's see where we end up. I've never been to this store. Pretty hood. boarded up, all knocked down looking. It's like people kind of don't really have money to maintain their houses and 20 years goes by quick and next thing you know your roof is leaking and it just gets worse and you never have a chance to fix it. Okay, I feel like we've 
hypnotic. We are actually going to stay on this road. It's just going to take us kind of through like neighborhoods. But it's the main road, but... Boarded up and the lights on. That's wild. I've never uh, lived in this side of town before, just because it's a little, it's a little too rough for me. I stick to the south side. Maybe it's because the south side kind of is closer to the good neighborhoods, if that makes any sense. So the cops over there, sometimes if you go a little too far south, you run into the strict cops. Like a Flint cop's gonna let you off, these other cops will give you the ticket every time. Pull you over every time if your plate ain't right, whatever. They're gonna get you over there. Kinda on the side of town where I grew up. But that also means I've been pulled over a lot of times. That's for sure. I believe there's a school up here. All the signs lit up. I was going to say it was shut down. A lot of the schools in Flint got shut down. There's videos of people uh, doing like urban exploring and going inside of some of them. Let's see where we're at. This is just called the Development Center. I'm not really sure what that means. <clears throat> Kind of Forest Park Manor. I was gonna say maybe it was a church. I didn't look like it. I didn't realize it was gonna start getting dark. Um, I usually don't even make longer videos. So I'm just going to record as uh, long as I can. Just kind of keep going. Just kind of show you Flint. I don't know. Not to say it's bad or good. I don't think it's that bad after seeing all these other cities online. Because the cities that are supposed to be good online look bad. When you really see them. And then the cities that are supposed to be bad... Some really are bad, I guess, yeah, but I mean, like, some ain't as bad as people think. Like, there ain't, not knocking any other cities, but we don't have, like, tent cities and, like, overwhelming homeless. See, where I didn't say there's no homeless, I just said there's not overwhelming homeless. There's a difference when, like, you can't even go down by the homeless camps because it's too dangerous or I don't know what. It's just a funny concept. Anyways, we are at McClellan MLK. Uh, headed south. Back towards the south side. Oh, I'm trying to remember where we're at. You know, I was at McClellan. I was going to head over towards the east side and show you that. This might be a cut across right here. And then if it gets too dark, we'll have to check it out another day. But man, there's spots over there that look like they got hit by a bomb. Date and I am, date and I am. Let's go. Date Street. Okay, I don't think this was the cut through, but we'll make it work. Like I said, look how big some of these houses are. I'm 
not a hundred percent sure where I'm at. I know which direction I'm headed, but let's see. Where are we at here? Avenue A. Mistaken, this light should be Hamilton. About to find out. Whoa! Not the best streets in these neighborhoods for sure. Okay, I won't tell nobody I'm about to do this. Depends where you're at, right? I believe this burnt down. Like a random mirror. I heard they make car seats. I don't know if that's even true. I'm trying to kind of move the camera around. I don't want the guy in front of me to think I'm like recording his car or something crazy. I'm sure people don't take kindly to that. Here's kind of an industrial area. It's kind of empty. I'm not sure if there's... There's still something going on back here. James P. Cole and... What's about to turn into Davison Road. A couple days ago there was a fire down here. Some kind of... Old abandoned like car garage type thing. Let's see if we can't see where it's at. I don't know if you guys can see. This is just a big empty parking lot. Before you get to the metal um, electrical poles over there, this is the Flint River, I believe, cuts back through. There's kind of a spot where it goes uh, west, but it seems like it turns back south. Okay, so I wonder what they were talking about was on fire. If it was this building. It's sad that these buildings are just here burning up, catching on fire. Wasted. It's not open there. It looks pretty sketchy. Now, basically, once you get around this turn, it turns into Davidson Road, and then you're like on the east side. So, this is like our sketchy side of town. Well, the north side is too. I was kind of over there. I don't know. To me, the east side is just like sketchier now these days, but you don't mess around on either. They catch you slipping, they're gonna they're gonna get you.
This is a sketchy road. These people look like they're living in a tractor trailer or some weird shit. I guess it's getting harder to see because it's getting dark. But that was like a little horrible uh, video for you. Like a little trip around flying. Uh, we'll wait till the daytime and maybe get some better videos for you. Do you guys think this is interesting? Anyways, all right, y'all have a good day. Good day and a good Thanksgiving.